Okay, we're here to talk about collections now. Now, it's been so many things I've collected, and you know, this is the last thing I started with was Laserdisc. See, these are two movies I have extras. Yeah, I think I have an extra. Of, I know I have an extra of Sudden Death, and I have an extra of Time Cup. And I have, now I have a Director's Pan and Scan Edition of True Lies, which is going to come out on um, 4K real soon, and Blu-ray. Then I got Die Hard 1 and 2. I showed you all of these. These are all movies I'm, I'm not too crazy or excited about, but nevertheless, um, they're movies that came with the set. Um, and then Blow Away. I have this on VHS already, but I don't know if I watched it yet. Um, all I'm going to say is this. I think we're in real danger when it comes to... Let me organize this a bit. I think we're in real danger of... With with um physical media. People are gonna deny it. All the people out there right now that have all these um these um these you know, these channels and stuff that say, Oh well, the, we're not in danger, you know, we have the boutique labels or whatever they're called that can give us movies and stuff like that. I think we're in some serious danger. First of all stupid thing, I always shouldn't be here. Um, here's the problem. The basic problem we have right now is that almost every store now has been stripped of selling movies, except for a very, very small portion at Target. And Walmart has a ton right now, but they said people, a lot of people out there said they were going to cut down too. So I don't know what's going to happen with them. Once that's gone, the Blu-ray players will start coming off the shelves too. Do you really think after all these um, discs disappear, they're not going to get rid of the Blu-ray plays? Now, they may sell a few of them online for a few years like they do with a VCR and extend its life out way past what it should have been. Think about the last VCR and when it was sold. You'd really think, how did, did Fuji, when Fuji or Cywin and F, I forgot what the name of the company was, how were they able to sell a VCR that late in the, into one... Um, it's life. It is beyond me. I don't think they're going to do that with Blu-ray. So what I'm going to do is, is if I get the chance because I had a computer problem, then the, and most likely they're probably going to credit me, is I'm going to go and buy everything by the bulk right now. Of course, I'm going to test everything. And if it doesn't work, I can send it back and get another one. But I'm going to get everything. I'm going to get at least three high-end players, televisions for my DVD that I watch because you can only watch DVD on like a 32 inch TV because of pixel density that's what somebody said so there's so many things you have to prepare for this if you're a collector I hate to say it but you're shit out of luck if you're an average Joe that's watching a movie right now that's a DVD because there's nothing you can really watch a DVD on where it'll look good some people have never really watched DVDs before and they put them on their televisions OLED or an LED, LCD, whatever it might be, and it looks like crap. And um, you've got to remember that you've never seen it on the proper television, like a CRT television and stuff like that. If you had seen the proper television, you'd probably know that it looks a lot better. And um, I feel bad because there's a lot of people that are going to get left out of media itself. It, it, I no one really talks about that. There's going to be a lot of people that are left out. The boutique labels are too expensive. I It even went up in more in price. But, well, this is Amazon, but Black Hat from 4K UHD. I think Arrow made it. I probably said that last time. I remember I was seeing it for about 25 bucks. I don't know if it was brand new or not. But I saved it in my cart. It's still in there, and now it's 50 it was a little less than that before in the 40s. That movie is not worth $50 any day of the week. And the reason why I say that is... Excuse me. The reason why I say that is is because it's the truth. Black Hat is not worth $50 in 4K. Especially with... No, don't get me wrong. They do a good job. I have their Robocop uh, movie from Arrow. But still, it's not the actual companies making them. It's these other ones that do it. 
because they're the only ones left that'll do any restoration. Um, he, I, I'm telling people right now, you should be going to thrift stores immediately to start purchasing things. With goodwill, at least, you you have like 24 hours to bring back a DVD player or a Blu-ray player. Are you, are you really ever see anything 4K there? You might see a movie or two. I was lucky enough to find a Dolby Vision player. Unless you, and it works perfectly. I played three Game of Thrones episodes on it. It plays great. Um, the problem with um, with that is, is I don't think people are going to take those kind of risks. And but they're not that much money. If you go to a Goodwill, I used to talk so much trash about the place. But if you go to a place like this, most players you can get for like ten, fifteen dollars, and you can take it back if they don't work. But it's not even worth the gas money most of the time. The one thing that you stay away from those stores is the DVD changes. I have one actually that works from them, but I got lucky. It's a Panasonic. I also have a DVD changer from Sony, and it's an amplifier too. It runs speakers out of it, and I can connect my television to it, my VCR to it. It's really a nice piece of equipment for something that's old. It's not worth anything anymore. It's not even worth any but. I think it was worth 80 bucks one time. I looked at it again and it was worth like 50 But definitely worth all the cash. Definitely worth the cash. Um, all I'm going to say is, is that, you know, all the stuff I talk about, you're going to have to do this right now. Um, there's some things, even for people who have opportunities like me, that have to prepare. Like, like with the VCRs, that's why I bought so many VCRs. I just kept buying them and buying them and buying them. I kept buying VCRs because why? Because if I didn't do it, what would happen is I'd be left with nothing to watch in my house for, for VCR anymore. And luckily I haven't had a player ever crap out on me since I started all this retro stuff. Now, the, um... How am I try to, trying to put this? Now, you're going to say, well, people can't afford to go out there and buy like seven or eight plays from Goodwill or whatever it is. Now, I bought tons of them. Now I have like five extra Blu-ray plays and all kinds, kinds of stuff. No, but if you buy at least one or two, you'll be all set. Here's another problem. What about the remote control? Well, that's where... a someone like a collector like me would come into effect a little more is so I have a million remote controls in my house for different televisions and blu-ray plays and I save all the ones that I uh, I, if, if I well, how do I say it if I have a bad player and I throw it out I always save the remote just in case I can use it for something else I have like four or five Samsung remotes like three of them a blu-ray play oh no maybe not three Two of two or three of them are Blu-ray players. Three of them are are um televisions, and you just keep buying more remotes. Just keep getting them. I got one from Goodwill, a Samsung remote for a TV. It was like a smart TV or whatever it was, seven or eight bucks. It was well worth it. I mean, yeah, I that's something you can't take back though. When I mean the take back policy, I mean the machines you buy, like the DVD players. You can't just take back movies and other stuff like that. Um, and what else can I say? I'm really, really just a person that's really... Um, I, I'm starting to feel bad because I think there's a, it's coming the time where people are going to get screwed over royally. I mean it. They're going to get screwed over royally. <laughs> um... They're not. They um. They're gonna. They're gonna wait till the, the last second, and the, all the DVDs and all the stuff are, is gonna break. You're gonna say everyone's gonna convert over to like Netflix or Disney Plus or ESPN. Oh, ESPN Plus. I can understand why people have that. I do have ESPN Plus. I haven't used it in weeks. I don't even watch the hockey anymore. I'm not interested. In. But um, these services are where people are gonna go, and they're gonna give up a lot because there's a lot of things. Um, there's a lot of movies that just, they're not on some of these services, and people should realize that. I mean, why would you want to buy a service and then half the movies you want to watch are not on it? That's why some people, there are, believe it or not, there are some people that 
pretty much subscribe to every single um, service there is, which is a waste of money because you can't watch all of them every day. So what do you do, right? It's kind of a waste of money for me to have ESPN+. Plus. I'm even considering canceling that at some point. Because I don't even watch the hockey anymore. It's just not interesting. Every hockey game I watch, it's a blowout. So what's the point of watching it anymore? So I hope everyone realizes how serious the situation is. It's not something to just look the other way. People are making a big deal out of it right now. Look at the Blu-ray plays you have to buy. They're all the same ones right now. Even the high-end ones. It's all the same units. They don't make any new new ones. Except for that $3,000 one they made. They showed online. Who's going to spend $3,000 on something? That, there's no way it reacts that much better than a regular one would. Uh, how much can it enhance the picture? Bye-bye.